Australian towns. But my favourite is Yakandanda. I just love saying that name, Yakandanda. But there is more to Yakandanda than just a name. Located about three hours from Melbourne, just off the Hume Freeway, Yakandanda is one of the prettiest villages you will find this side of the Black Stump. And like a lot of places in this area, it owes its existence to gold. First discovered over 150 years ago, gold fever hit Yakandanda hard. And today, we're going to experience just what it was like to go underground in the 19th century. After the first couple of years of digging down from above, they came down and made a conscious decision to dig straight into the mountain. So let's go. Greg Porter has only recently started taking tourists to Cars Reef Gold Mine, but it is virtually untouched from the days when it was abandoned in 1884. These small dugouts enabled the miners to get out of the way of the ore trucks as they came rumbling past on these tracks. And these pit marks are a clear indication of how determined the miners were in the search for riches. But sometimes even they knew when they were beaten. They used to use black powder blasting through here and clearly this one just wouldn't be moved by the black powder. So being so large and hard and solid, they just said, oh, well, we'll leave it here. So bugger it, we'll leave it here. <laughs> Hence the name. Bugger at rock. Bugger at rock. That's it. It took them two years without finding any gold to get to this point. The mother load, a perfect north-south fault line or quartz gold reef. While Yakandanda was once home to thousands of gold diggers, it is now a mecca for the arts and artists. And one of those is world famous potter, John Derma. John settled in Yakandanda over 30 years ago and has been creating pots with great passion and skill. He has some of them on display in the most distinguished buildings in the country, such as Parliament House in Canberra and the Federal High Court. But one pot has a special story. When my father was dying, I said, what am I going to do with you? you know, roses or somewhere? Yeah. And he said, oh, you know, I don't care. And I said, well, look, I could turn you into a glaze, use your ashes. So I did that. My mother's got a pot half full of my father uh, with the instructions that when mum dies, she goes into the rest of the pot, bit of a shake, and they're together forever. You could say that while pottery runs in his family, his family also runs in pottery. The gallery is amazing to wander around. Not only are you surrounded by John's stunning art, but the property has beautiful gardens, trees and views for all to enjoy. The gallery is open 10.15 to 5.30 on weekends and most school holidays.